Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by yet again. We're here at Eric's and we got another video with his truck. It's regards to his trailer plug. We're gonna be taking his current seven pin off and adding a seven pin with a combo four pin. It's an extremely simple process. It's, it's basically plug and play. So hang tight, make sure you guys watch this video so you see how to do it. I would highly suggest it for everybody that runs these trucks who hates having to get that dang pigtail harness. It's just that simple. Make sure you go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel. If you're already subscribed, button and hit that bell button so you get those notifications follow me on instagram so you get updates on either my truck or eric's truck in regards to progress or anything whatsoever and possible pop-up giveaways that i do or even a giveaway on the channel so make sure you go ahead and do that the link will be in the description below so let's go ahead dive on in get this taken care of for you guys and it'll be a nice quick video for the plug and here it's showing you it as a seven pin with a combo it's just got a pigtail basically on the back side all right so here's his current pin his seven pin trailer plug it's in good condition there's nothing wrong with it but he really wants to add that four pin connector so that's why we're doing this all right everyone what I'm about to show you is exactly why when you buy a truck you need to either yourself comb through it or find somebody that knows what they're doing because our simple trailer plug harness seven pin connector change out here we knew we saw something here with the four prong that was plugged in we knew something was messed up but man as an electrician and eric as an electrician to see this i know it's only 12 volts but still it's 12 volts this is stupid check it out so they're four pin, they're four pin trailer harness. They tapped into the license plate light, didn't even hook up two wires. These were just hanging there and they just twisted the wires on. No crimps, no nothing. Yeah, no crimps, no scotch locks even, um, no waggle, like something, a wire nut, nothing. Man, we're gonna fix this, we're, we're gonna fix this. All right, so all you can do is press that tab in. And then it basically twists for you. And then you pull it on out. All you have is one tab in there. Push that tab down and it pulls out that simple. All right, so typically if you're keeping your factory style receiver, your hitch, Typically you would then just cut this off and you can mount the new bracket right to it. You see right here, this is where that four pin's gonna sit, but you would typically then just mount it to it. But since we have, cause he's gonna be using his truck specifically to tow his Jeep to off-roading events, we are gonna actually replace the factory hitch because it really is a fail point for a lot of these trucks, why they designed them like that, but it is what it is. We will be upgrading to class five, like I said. So we're gonna leave that on in case we wanna sell that to somebody or if somebody would like that. It is rust free, so that, that does you know add some value up here in Wisconsin. If you're in Wisconsin and you want it, go ahead and send me a message. We'll see, maybe we can work something out with you. But hey, we're gonna go ahead and then mount the new bracket. We're gonna simply just mount it to the bumper for right now and uh, we'll on to this. slide it through the hole. You're gonna have four mounting bolt that you're gonna have to add to it. taken care of we've got it wired up properly we've got the license plate light fixed and wired up the right way i still cannot believe that it's like that we've got as eric is here finishing up the zip tying the trailer plug harness up and out of the way it's all set 100 percent. i would definitely do this it's a relatively cheap upgrade it's a very very nice upgrade a convenience upgrade in fact highly suggest that i'd probably on my top 10 of things of i would suggest you do to these trucks if you're not looking to spend a lot of money. Make sure you guys go ahead and follow me on Instagram. If you have not already, go ahead and like this video, subscribe. 
subscribed to the channel, if you're already subscribed, go ahead and hit that bell button, bell button so you get those notifications. It looks like anytime I'm gonna be working on truck, Eric's truck, I think I'm gonna be wearing a red red shirt just in tribute to the red truck. I typically have never had an actual colored vehicle before. It's either white or black, and I'm gonna, not gonna lie, I'm a little jealous. So make sure you guys stay tuned for the next video. This whole month, the next month, we've got a bunch of surprises coming for you guys. I'm extremely excited for it. Have yourselves a great night, and we'll see you soon.